Florida lawmakers continue to fight in Washington, D.C. this morning. House Republicans advanced their plan to raise the debt ceiling, but as you can expect from that conservative majority, it comes with some massive cuts to spending. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler now joins us live from West Haven Veterans Museum. Olivia, later today, one local lawmaker plans to address who these cuts could impact. Can you tell us? Hey, Nicole, good morning. Well, Congressman Dolara will be going over the impact of the House Republicans' proposal to cut some veterans' programs. Now, Dolaro says that would cap annual investments for veterans and their families who rely on them. A bill passed by House Republicans would delay payments for less than a year if Congress agrees to 10 years of cuts and caps to veterans' annual investments. According to Delaro, the bill also takes away $2 billion in funding to support veterans, including veterans' health and earned benefits. Since House Republicans advanced their plan to raise the debt ceiling last week, they've taken a stance to cut what they believe is excessive government spending. Democratic lawmakers believe those cuts will hurt Americans. Iraq and Afghanistan Afghanistan veterans of America have published a letter to Congress expressing their concerns over the House Republicans bill. They claim if enacted, it would endanger funding for VA and veterans programs. The group says the bill's language does not say it would protect VA from the proposed budget reductions. The event today to discuss potential cuts to veterans programs is happening at the Veterans Museum and Learning Center in West Haven. The event is taking place at 1130 this morning. Reporting live in West Haven, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Olivia, thank you. 630.